Module 8, Case 3, Barrett Furniture, Step 5. The format of this table is the reason that the formulas work as calculated columns the way that they do. If this were a range instead of a table, it wouldn't work this way, but it really is everything you know already. It just seems more difficult because of all the brackets and, and steps. They seem convoluted, but if you break it down, and do just like you would if this were, I don't know, another assignment. It seemed more simple. We just do exactly what it says. So we're looking for the insurance charge based on the yes in this column. So let's just type it out. So it's going to be an if statement because we have to have equal if. We want it to say if there's a yes in here. So equal if. Something went wrong, okay. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong with my Excel. Fantastic. Equal if. In case you haven't figured it out by now, there's little quirks all around the place. We're going to click in this column. We're going to say insurance, so you get a bunch of brackets, but like I said, never mind. Equals, and now we have to put the quotes just because it has to be exactly, and you have to capitalize the Y just like the yeses are. So, equal if. Insurance equals yes is our logical test, so we're going to put a comma, and value if true. Now we're going to do a VLOOKUP. So type VLOOKUP. And now, as you can see, we're in a different formula. So the lookup value, we're going to search the lookup table based on the value in the group code. And then we're going to put a comma. And the table array, we're going to say where we want to look. And where we want to look is in the table over here. Oops, it doesn't let me go out. So the table right here. And so we can type in rental charges or we can select this. Come on. And it just puts, gosh darn it. Uh, it should come up rental charges. I don't know why it didn't. It does every other time. I must have hit a wrong button. Mm. If we just do... Oh, I know why. Because I clicked on rental information first. So if we just do rental charges, because that's what it is on the other sheet, this table has been named rental charges, or we can select it like this. Just go like this, and then rental charges will come up. Still didn't. Huh. I don't know why, but the, both will work, but rental charges is what we want it to say there. I'm not sure. I think it's because I forgot. Let's let's try. I think it's because I forgot the label, so let's do this. Hmm. Oh, I know why. It's because I had the whole thing highlighted instead of just one cell. I don't want the column. I just want the cell. So let's start over. Equal if insurance equals comma value of true v lookup lookup value group code, because we're going to use the group code to attach them to, um, well, it's the thing that they have in common anyway, comma, table array, it's going to be the rental charges table, and which column in the rental charges table? We have to look at the rental charges table because the insurance charges in column Four. So we're going to type a four, comma, false, because 99% of the time is false. 
We're going to close it, and then we get back out to the other formula. That's value of true. So we're going to hit a comma, and now we go to value of false. And it's a little easier to see what we're doing if we click back over to rental data. Value of false is going to be not rental data. It's going to be zero. We need to use two parentheses because we're closing two formulas. This parenthesis right here and this parenthesis right here. So now if we hit enter. Okay. Oh, I need a comma before the four. Okay. Oh, this is because I clicked out, so that's my fault. Okay, column index number four. That's also that should be there. So now we go. Now we should be good. What on earth? Oh, I only need one parenthesis there. My error. Okay, there we go. So when we get to long formulas like this, especially flipping back and forth, we have to sometimes trial and error, so I apologize. So now we can move on to step six. In column J, enter the formula with an if function to determine shipping charge for each set of furniture. So it's going to be very similar to what we just did there. Actually, shipping charge is quite a bit simpler. So if we look back over here just to familiarize ourselves first, Where does it tell us the delivery fee is 50 bucks? Maybe it tells us that in the... Shipping charge, shipping cost. Okay, so it's in the assignment details. On the instruction for number six, it says pick up zero and uh, truck 50. So to do the shipping charge, we're going to say equals, and then we want to tell it if the shipping charge, I'm sorry, if the shipping code equals pickup, it's going to be one value, and if it equals truck, it's going to be another. So we'll say if you equals if shipping code equals and then we're going to do the quotes again. Oh, again, capital P, just like it is. Pick up. So that's the logical test, comma. The value, if true, is going to be 50 with nothing, comma. And if false, is going to be zero. That should work just fine. There you go. Format columns H through K, which you don't want to choose the heading. I want to just change these, and, and to be honest, I would have done this all at one time, either at the very beginning or at the very end, but we're doing it in order of steps in the book, so we'll make sure we go to Accounting More, choose Accounting, Decimal Places, Zero, Dollar Sign, None, okay, so that's done. Now we can move on to nine, step nine. Actually, I'm going to end this and go to the next video. So hold, to, hold on. I'll be right back.